Hey guys, what's up? So today my package for the uh the what do you call it? The uh, the clock should have came today, so let's go check it out. And hope I don't step on anything. So far I don't see anything. It says delivered by local US post office. Um, let me see. Oh, hello. Um, let me see here. I don't see anything, but let me see where they put it, because sometimes they put stuff in places that you would not expect. But this is probably not the case. They probably... So it's probably not out here. Um, so I am going to go and, ooh, let's go check the mailbox. Hey, Bubba. Yeah. Um, I think my package came. It's, it's, it's in the mailbox, I think. It's not out there. Okay. Good. Pick it up and I go out, all right? Oh, okay. I, I was going to say, I, I can, well, okay. If you want to walk out, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right, guys. So I am outside now. And we are going to go and see if the package is there. And... Okay. Wait a second. That's not right. There we go. Wait. What the? Hang on, guys. I am a little bit lost. There we go. And they're waiting for me, I'm guessing. Yep. They were. So, that's that. That's the nice thing here about my neighborhood. You know, usually people wait for me or blind people to cross the, the sidewalk or their, their, their driveway. And yeah, so we just, ooh, okay, as you can tell, the the mailbox is a, wide, is a ways away, and reason why I am recording going to the mailbox is because I want people to know that people with a visual impairment can travel independently. So now, and yes, I know I'm, I am on the street. There's no sidewalk on this side. If I were to travel on the other side on the sidewalk, I wouldn't know where the mailbox would be. So... That's why I'm traveling on this side of the street. And usually there is no one, usually no cars come up here very much. Or, I'm sorry, the cars do come up here, but not like a whole bunch. Ooh, I found a raindrop. Okay. So let me get the key out. Wow, there's not much milk today. 
All right. No. Okay. So the mailbox, er, mailbox, geez. Mail has come. Here's the key. And it has to go down to here. And I'm guessing it's probably this one. No. It is this one. Oh, duh. It's down there. I just have to get the key in there. Uh, I hate these things. The key's way on there. Is it maybe up here? Ah, wrong way. Holy crow. Okay. Bigger than I thought it was. So guys, I'm sorry that the camera is aiming, I'm trying to aim it the right way, but it's gonna be kinda hard. So now we got the package. And I will be back when I am back inside and so I can travel easier. Yes, I am back. So I may not pack, I may not pack this very well. Oof. Actually, I didn't. <laughs> so let me get some scissors. And in kindergarten, as I used to say, skizzers. <laughs> so let's see, that's the cheese cutter. Those are knives. Red knives, so it won't work. Uh, scissors. Aha, here we go. Don't worry, guys. I'm, I'm, I'll be careful. No, no need to be, no need to be nervous. I'll be, ah. Never mind. Uh -huh. Just smoking a little bit. All right. Let's take a look. See here. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, over here. Okay. So, oh look, here, what we got? Now this looks more like it. Boy. So, and I probably should open it over here because I do not want anything to get on the stove. So, here, we have some paper stuff, and here is a, I do not know what this is. I think this is the thermometer thing, but I don't know. Anyway, so let's try and get this other thing out. And... Here's the, what is that word? Not analog, jeez. Um, is someone always help with, what is that word I'm looking for? Not analog, jeez. Um, not analog, um, atomic. Jeez, I can't forget that word. Are you kidding me? It didn't come with batteries? I cannot believe it. Wow. Just wow. I'm 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 actually very surprised it didn't come with batteries. Now I just have to figure out how to, let's see. I just have to figure out how to get this open with the 
it looks like you need you need okay so we need batteries let's hope we have some in the box which I seriously doubt we do because that kind of frustrates me that they don't put batteries in here I was unfortunate they didn't put new batteries Surprising at all. All right, let's see what's in, wait. What's this? What's in here? Uh, let's take a look. Wait, what's in here? Hello. Wait, what's this? Very small screws. I don't know what this is. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'll keep that in there just in case. This might be important. All right. <sighs> Let's go look for some batteries. Unless, whoa, hello. Unless there's something here. Which obviously I'm easy. So let's go look for some batteries. All right. I don't know what kind of batteries it takes, but we will find out. <sighs> this is where my friends that. You will find stuff that doesn't hold batteries, and usually I thought they do come with batteries. Apparently not all appliances do. We So, let's take a look-see here and get my handy-dandy screwdriver. Um, let's see here. Screwdriver, where are you? I know you are here somewhere. I don't see you. No pun intended. Aha! Found you. Okay. Alright. Whee! Alright. So. Let's go upstairs. And see what kind of batteries it takes. If I had a guess, it would take triple a double A. But then again, you can never tell these days. So you know what? I, what kind of screw is that? Maybe that's not even good. Where do the batteries go in this? Oh, duh. Wow. Wow. That, okay, that was a total blind moment. Wow, I didn't see that. <laughs> okay, um, my, that looks like double A. All right. Um, let's go look for some double A batteries. Actually, I'll be back. All right, guys, found them. So let's take a look here. I'm going to put the phone number just a second. And these should 
be right. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> they're on the right-hand side. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, ugh. Sometimes I... Okay. What? Why isn't this closing now? There we go. Okay. So, let's go take a look-see. And see if these fit. Because these feel like AA batteries. So, I mean, not the one I have my hand in, like the ones it takes, if I should say. All right. Um, here we are. And I'm gonna go and put them in. Yep, double A. Let's see if it works. The time is now 12 midnight. Okay, <laughs> nice. I don't know. Announcement what on. What the? Announcement on. Oh, that's why. Announcement off. The alarm time is set. Alarm off. Okay, so. We're going to press and hold the round button on the right. Setting time zone. And. Mountain standard time. Central Standard Time. And I think it's daylight savings. Setting time. Setting complete. Alarm set. One minute to midnight. Oh, no. I don't want to... <laughs> no, we don't want midnight. Ooh, what's this? No, it's... Okay. Um, let's see. The time is now... The time is now one minute past one a.m. Okay, so we don't want that, so... Alarm set. Uh, one minute to midnight. All right, guys, let me figure this out here. Um, how do I do this? Woo! Okay. So, um... This is very descriptive. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Ah! Found it! Today's Monday, January 1st. The room temperature is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The time is now 1 minute past 1 a.m. So... This should... Uh, what does this do? The time is now two minutes past one a.m. I don't know what that does, but okay. Um, so for some reason, this is not working. Um, but I think you have to somehow do this. So let me see. Today's Monday, January 1st. Obviously, it's not January 1st, so I need to see how this works. Um, I'm trying to figure out what you have to do. Um, so, yeah, um, there should be a way to do this. Um, okay, so guys, I need to do some more exploring with this because I have no idea what this, what to do. Um, so I will be back. Okay, guys, so basically, um, the little device that you get, it's a little rectangle thing that has a little thing on it. You have to unscrew those four screws, make sure they're, they're pretty small though, so be careful, and put two AAA batteries in there and then screw them back on there. Once you've done that, you can hang it or put that little glue thing on there. 
Um, and the which, no, which way is which, is the part that has the little rectangle thing on the back on one side. One side will be really, really smooth. The other side have like a little, like a little round rectangle, like a rectangle box thing. That's where the little glue stuff come, goes on. The uh, adhesive tape. Now here's the thing. Now before you go around the outside and putting this on the wall, this cannot be in direct sunlight. It cannot be exposed to rain or snow. And it has to be in at least 65 feet of range or less from the main device, which is a, a clock. So, keeping that in mind, make sure that those all apply. And, yeah. Um, so, let's check the temperature right now. And hit that the top bar button. The outside temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's not 80, it's actually 76, but it's, no, not 76, I'm sorry. I think it's still getting down there because I had it in my hand for a long time and it's trying to adjust. So let's push that little button right here. The time is now 29 minutes past 3 p.m. Okay. Then this button is called the mode button. It's right underneath the screen button. Press it again. Today, Monday, January 1st. And that's not right. It should be September. Jeez, what is today's date? September something. September 29th. The room temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Not correct, but it's still adjusting. It takes a little bit. The time is now half past 3 p.m. And let's see if it did again. Today, Monday. No. But you get the idea. So on the left hand side you have the announcement switch. Right is on, left is off. And then next to that you have the arrow buttons. Those are used to set the alarm, change the time and date, but I wouldn't mess with the date and time because then you'll mess everything else up and that's because it's a time clock. To the right is the alarm switch on and off. Down is off, up is on obviously. And to the right you have the set button where you can change the time, the date, and time zone, which I, again, would not change, but there you go. And the top, the big long bar is the, basically the talk button, and the mode button is um, on the front where the screen is. Underneath that is the mm, maybe two, three inches of a button in the middle between the two speakers, and that is where the mode button is. You can switch between the outside, inside, date, and time. This device runs around $48.89 from MaxiAids. And yeah, so there you go. Any questions, let me know. Remember to comment, like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on my post notifications, and I'll see you guys later in the next video. The Tech Piano Player Kid is out. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Follow my Twitter which is linked to my channel.